Welcome to another installment of Metal Detecting with Lugnut. In this episode, we're going to metal detect under a tree on our property. This tree is about 400 years old, so it's been here longer than white people have been wandering around. And so there's a lot of activity around here in the past. And so there hopefully is a lot of activity under the tree. I found to date uh, pieces of an old wood stove and I found a piece of a watch and I found other assorted pieces of junk. Never really found anything significant. But it's a magnificent tree and it's really the centerpiece of our property here. And uh, there he is, I call him the master. It's a white oak. It's enormous. And it's probably about uh, 180 feet tall. About 12 feet around at the base. Maybe not quite that much. It's a big darn tree. And so, uh, there's a lot of metal under there, a lot of big iron, but there is some other signals, and uh, so I want to document some of what's going on over there. So let's hope, see if there's this cool stuff underneath all these oak leaves that there has been in other parts of this property. So thanks a lot for joining me, and let's see what there is under the grass. I'm here right under the reaches, the far reaches of the master's branches. There's just above me. We'll come down here and look at this. This is a 84, 89, another toy car. And that looks like an MG. To show that to my dad, he had one. Uh, about the time he bought this property. Clean that up a little bit. Looks like I dinged it. No wheels. Well, some wheels. Yeah. Sure enough. That's pretty funny. Okay, next target. <clears throat> Right next to the car, not eight inches, there was a signal that is 76. I got this thing here. And it opens up. There's something in there. This stuff. I don't know what that is. I'll pull that out. See if I can determine what that is. Might have been a little, I don't, know, I don't know, afraid to venture a guess. Okay, next target. Well, I made quite a mess, and I think I finally found it. I don't think it wasn't as deep as uh, AT Pro said it was. I got a coin ball here. I'm afraid this is just going to be a clad quarter. I don't know what this is. It's too thin to be a coin. I'll have to clean this up. And it's very light. It might be a token of some kind. Let me clean this up. Get back to you. See what this is. All right. I cleaned up the token, and it is a Look Magazine Savings Medallion. Now it's the same on both sides with this flying eagle. Well, that's pretty cool. It's aluminum. 
it's probably been in the ground from the looks of it from maybe the mid 60s but that's pretty cool never seen one of those before I did find one on the internet and I will insert an undug example right here I had a scratchy 80 signal it is pretty bouncy I went ahead and dug it anyway I'm just a couple feet from the tree and I found a one of these which is I believe some kind of a battery terminal connector uh, <clears throat> I actually found the other one uh, shortly after I started detecting not probably not 10 10 feet from here um, so here's the other one old style Okay, next target. Got a signal here right at the foot of the tree. At 48, 45 on the AT Pro. And it's, uh, it's an old Remfire cartridge. See, so here's where it hit. Got hit there on the edge. That's not a 22. I don't know a whole lot about old guns, but that looks like a pistol casing to me. Um, I'll clean it up, see if I can get any more information off of it. But considering the age of this tree, this could be this could be old. Cool, old relic. Next target. A nice nickel signal. 50, 51, 49, just a couple inches under the dirt, which wouldn't indicate a whole lot of age to me, but I found this. Some kind of slotted grommet, because this edge is a soft material, like, see it moving? Some kind of a grommet. I've never seen one slotted like that. It's got a nice patina on it. Who knows? Anyway, again, right, right at the foot of the tree. He's right there. <clears throat> okay, like I said, I'm just making circles around and around the tree, going outward from the center. Just to see what I can find. I'm hearing lots of iron. I've found old pieces of uh, what look like wood stove parts. Uh, somebody broke up a firebox or something. But uh, all right, well let's keep going. I'm about ten feet south of the tree. I got a really nice signal, 84, 85. I flipped it out. I see something, I think. I haven't touched it yet. That orange thing in there. I think we have us a dog tag. Yep. Uh, let me clean this up. See if I know this pooch. Cool. All right, I'll be right back. Well, this is a 2006 rabies vaccination tag. So this could be from our late Labrador retriever, Trevor. He's from that period. There were, there were some other dogs around here, but I'll have to check that with my mom. It could be Trevor's. He was a good dog. He wouldn't let me swim in our pond. He'd come out and get me. He didn't think I belonged in the water. All right, well that's a cool relic, even though it's not particularly old. All right, next target. Well, I'm about uh, 15 feet northeast of the tree. Found something 
It's only the second one I've ever found. We got ourselves a harmonica reed here. That's not bad. There's still a piece in there somewhere. That's a that's a nice one. Um, I'll look for that other piece. Of course, it was under the root. I don't want to hurt the roots of this big guy. So I'm being as gentle as I can. Let me get the other piece out of here. All right, next target. Well, we had a mid 60s signal. Now we got a second horseshoe. It's not a good size one. It's about the same as the other one. <clears throat> this one's in a little better condition. Um, we did have horses here. We had a pony here, but uh, I don't remember bringing them down here very often. Okay, next signal. I'm about 25 feet. 20 feet up from the north side of the tree and I had a really crappy signal but I dug it anyway because it was fairly high and there's another piece of that firebox but in it was this also pretty piece of lavender bottle top that's pretty old that's why I should be wearing gloves it's a nice color Kind of a lavender. That's an old bottle. Cool. All right, next target. I had a nice 76, 78 signal here. Again, just at the very edge of the trees here on the north side of the tree. And we have flipped it out and it's still sitting here. Got a uh, lantern piece. I look at that imprint. Yeah, that's a relatively old relic. There might be some writing here on the end of it. Yeah, there are some letters there, I think. Well, I'll check it out. See what I can get off of it. I think I'm going to call it a mission. So, uh, that's been our hunt around the tree. See what's under the tree. There he is standing there. Way, 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 way up there. That's a big tree. All right, well, we'll do a roundup here in just a minute. Welcome to the tailgate roundup for the under the oak tree hunt. That hunt actually spanned a couple weeks, but uh, here are the results. Here's the trash first, and there's lots of trash, and then there's tons of trash that I left in the ground. Big iron signals and signals for big pieces of rusty metal like this one. And um, Here's the two horseshoes. This is a piece off, I think, off of a, a storm door from the house that used to be nearby there. Fancy filigree. And the smaller pieces, we've got key. Some uh, stoneware shards came up in a couple things. Here's a piece of pottery. There's a piece that has some fancy on it. The rimfire, the, the grommet, two shotgun shells, and this thing has got something in it that I don't know what it is. 
it comes apart. And there's something inside here. I don't know what that would have been. It's disintegrated now. You got a D buckle, a lamp, a wick controller, electrical piece, that cool bottle top. MG car. My dad had an MG when he bought this property. I was almost betting money. In fact, I would bet money. He bought this for my older brother, who probably played with this car back in the late 50s, early 60s. Harmonica Reed. Then we have the look. Uh, this is the token we found. You can see the eagle on it. And it says, Look Savings Medallion. And they came out of Look Magazine. I'll put a link in the description to some information on it. Um, I guess my mom took Look Magazine. It's probably from the 60s also. And then the tag from our Yellow Lab Trevor. That's pretty cool. And he's a great dog. So that's that's the results. It's a fun hunt. There's definitely more stuff under the tree, but nothing that I particularly want to mangle the roots for to get out. Uh, most of it sounds like junk. I mean, very much sounds like junk. So thank you for joining me. Please subscribe and comment and come back and see us again when we go in search of what's under the grass. Thanks a lot.